Hey YouTube, what's been going on? Phantom Hacks here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rat using Dark Comment. And, uh, yeah, so what you're going to need to download is the two things I'll have in the description. It'll be, um, Dark Comment. I'll put it in a rat file. Or not in a rat file, a raw file. And, um, and no IP. So, um, it's your choice if you trust me to download this. Uh, it will come up as a virus because it makes viruses, so you might want to shut off your virus protection. But if you don't trust me, then don't download it. Simple as that. Um, it works. Hold on. I don't know if I have my virus protection. Yeah, there it is right there. But, um, yeah, so it's up to you if you trust me. First off, you want to go to the site here. It's noip.com. I'll put it in the description. That's where you would download noip. And, um, yeah. Um, so what you want to do to first is, um, once you make an account by pressing that sign up button on the website, you'd, um, it'd take you to this page most likely. And, um, this is where you would get started. So you want to go to, um, add a host. And you know what, hold on. Let me get rid of my, uh, host that I have. Um, alright, so once you press add a host, you want to um, make it so uh, you can choose the name of it. I'm going to make mine Phantom Hacks USA. And then you want to put no IP dot biz. And um, there would be your IP address right there. So you can use that and you want to make sure it's your IP and have a VPN on because otherwise it won't work. And um, yeah, there we go. So you'd add that host. And there you go. Now you made your host. And uh, you might, you also had to go to your router. Now to get to your router, you'd want to go to um, the start menu, type in CMD. And like this except it will look better but um and you want to type in IP config and it show you all the information about your router and stuff and the default gateway if you're what I'm doing um it would most likely be 192.168.1.1 that's what mine is uh, yours might be different but just type that in at the URL space and it will take you to so um, what you want to do is go to advanced and you want to go to um, however it is on your router I do not know it would be under advanced setup and port forwarding and port triggering for my netgear um, and it will show you where um, router um, port forwarding stuff so what you want to do first is go to add custom service add service or whatever it says for you Alright, so you want to name it something that you'll know what you're talking about. So, uh, dark comment. Uh, and you want to make it under TCP slash UDP. And, uh, we're going to have to pick a port here, so try to get one to find use. I will use 800. And the ending, external ending port, you put 800. And then you want to put your internal IP. So, I've got to go back to CMD. Um, there it is right there. IP in IP config. And it says your IPv4 address. That is what you would want to use. So, mine is 192.168.1.132. And that's what you put in. So, yours will diff be different. Most likely. And so, once you type that in, you'd be done. Just type in apply. Alright, so it is on 800 is our port. So, you got to remember that. And, um, yeah, alright, so after you've added in your host and stuff, you want to go to, um, hold on, let me get rid of this, so it doesn't, like, use that, so I can actually make sure it works. Alright, so I have my one, um, uh, pull forwarded thing right there, so then you want to, uh, open up Dark Comet, um, some computers you might have run it as admin, I don't know. Alright, so here we go. There's nothing on right now. 
And um, so yeah, what you want to do now is go over to socket slash net, right click, add port to listen. Now what was your port? You got to go back and my port was 800. So you type in 800 and you listen. So now it's listening to your port right there. And then you want to go to up here where is the dark comment rat. It will say server module. And it will show once you go hover over that. It will say minimalist and a full editor. We will use the uh, full editor right now. So first when you get on there you will want to press random on where it says process mutex. You just want to uh, hit that a couple of times. So it just restarts you and stuff. Uh, you can change up the server ID if you want. It just whenever somebody tried to connect to your rat, that's what their name will be. You can like make it whatever. It don't really matter. Now under network settings, you will want to put your IP address and the port that it is under, which ours was 800, and uh, our IP address was this. So you just want to copy that. You can go to whatismyip.com too. Um, alright, so you just put in your IP address, or you can put in this, your, uh, domain that you made, and, yeah, so once you do that, you'll go to module setup, and, um, this is, so if you want it to start up with Windows, so if, like, the rat is stuck on their computer, basically, wherever you want to put it, um, on their computer, so it will save under wherever you mark it off at. You can um, put it like under, I would recommend putting it under temp and uh, changing the name so they won't know it's a virus and they'll think, oh, it's from the computer, it's supposed to be there, don't delete it. So yeah, but uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that due to it will mess up your computer. Uh, display message box, so whenever the person opened it up, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this so the person wouldn't get suspicious. But if you want to make it like an app and you can say the app is not connecting right or whatever, uh, you'd make the title like air x1 or whatever you want really. But like make it look, I don't know. But um, say there's an air, please try again. So my eye really hurts right now. And you can test out your message box. It'll be like this whenever they open it up. And uh, yeah, you can change up what that says up there too. I recommend putting that so it looks like that. But yeah. So after that, you go to module shield. Uh, you don't really need any of this. Uh, you can put this if you want. I wouldn't recommend doing it though, because then the person will know that they have something wrong when they try to edit it out. Try to get rid of the rat that's open. Uh, key logger. Uh, I, I, you shouldn't do this. The host file. Um, just put in your IP address and um, your DNS, your um thing, your server thing that you made earlier, and you can then choose your icon. None of these are real, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. And then the stub finalization, you want to save it as a uh, executable file. And then you want to press build the stub. And as you see here, it would show what you'd want to save as a file name. So let's name it Minecraft. And yeah, so here we go. Here is the uh, finalized file that we made. And um, see that right? My virus protection apparently ran out and it still cares I guess uh... web read doesn't really work right I wouldn't use it, it was free though so I bought it alright so there's your uh, thing that you made so when the person double taps on it it will say error please try again later and as you see it will um, try to connect them to your rat but so whenever the person that you send it to um, opens it up. It will show up on your computer saying somebody's trying to connect to your uh, rat, and so that's what they would do, and that's how you get all their information. So once they open it up, you can allow that person in.
and then you have all these fun function functions that you can do, like hide the desktop and send a me send a message box saying whatever you want. And yeah. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I hope this helped you out. It's a really long tutorial. I know some of them are shorter. It's up to you, whatever you want. But uh, I'm not responsible for whatever you do, and I'll put the download links in the description. Alright, peace. Bye.